Hey guys, Mr. Bennett here. This is section 1.4 of your notes. We are winding down and today we're going to take a look at temperature. This is another measurement tool and it tells us how much energy we have in a given system. And this is something that's going to come up later in the year, but you need to understand how temperature works and how to measure it and things like that. And in science, we always use the Celsius scale. And this is the, the quote unquote metric scale. It's what the rest of the world uses. And we are never, ever, ever going to be using the Fahrenheit scale. This is what the United States uses. Very few other countries use it. Um, and it's just because it's not a very simple scale to use. Celsius ranges, water freezes at zero degrees and boils at 100 degrees. So it's very easy to remember. Uh, and Fahrenheit's just crazy. Um, so we'll come back to that some other time. And the conversion factors are below, and these you do not need to memorize these. So do not. I do not want you wasting brain power and memorizing something we can find on the internet. So do not worry about memorizing these. But what it is, is for every five degrees Celsius we change, we change nine degrees Fahrenheit. So this is a five to nine ratio. So these ratios are always, always, always going to be coming back. And this is what these conversion factors show us. So for every five degrees Fahrenheit, if I, let's rewrite this conversion factor. So we've got uh, degrees Fahrenheit minus 32. And then that's multiplied by a conversion factor. We've got five degrees Celsius over nine degrees Fahrenheit. So if you remember from our conversion practice, if we've got a Fahrenheit unit on the top on a, on a numerator, remember we can put this over one, and a Fahrenheit in the denominator, these are gonna cancel each other out. That means Celsius is left over as our answer. So let's take a look at our examples. In this first example, it says a thermometer reads 100 degrees Celsius. And what is the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit? So we're gonna be converting using this first conversion factor, Celsius to Fahrenheit. And so let's rewrite this equation again. So we've got degrees Celsius, which is 100, 100 degrees Celsius times our conversion factor. Remember, this is the same as this one, it's just upside down. So we've got nine degrees Fahrenheit over five degrees Celsius. And that's a conversion factor. And what is the temperature in degrees? So then we need to add 32 to that. And that's gonna give us a temperature in Fahrenheit. Now notice your units are canceling out. We've got a Celsius in the numerator right here with the 100. So that cancels with this one in the denominator. So let's grab our calculator and we do 100 times and do a set of parentheses, nine divided by five and then close that and equals. And then we add 32 and equals 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's a very simple temperature conversion. If you wanna see how to do number two, you can click the button and it'll show you. Otherwise, check out the CTQs at the end of the chapter and we'll be working on this in class with another lab. Okay, so here's your second example problem. Uh, so if we have a temperature of 99.6 degrees Fahrenheit, you can't come to school, that's a law, and it's in the school rules. So if you have a fever, you can't come to school, but what is that temperature in degrees Celsius? Let's do a simple conversion. This time we're starting with temperature in Fahrenheit, so we're gonna be using this conversion factor. So we've got degrees Fahrenheit, which is 99.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And we need to subtract 32 from this. And then we multiply that by a conversion factor of five degrees Celsius over nine degrees Fahrenheit. Now again, Fahrenheit in the numerator, Fahrenheit in the denominator, so your scales cancel, and our answer is going to be in degrees Celsius. So let's grab that calculator. So we've got 99.6 minus 32 equals 67.6, and then we need to multiply this, five divided by nine, use your parentheses, and that gives us a temperature on the Celsius scale of 37.6 degrees. So that's pretty warm. Uh, again, if this didn't make sense, be sure to ask me in class.